So these are the Hero Arms made by Open Bionics. They're completely 3D printed and completely customizable and personalized to you. Starting from the socket right the way to the cases around the hand. So you can have any color that you want. You can have any pattern. You can have some with lights in if you want. You can literally have your hand any flavor you would like. Like you could have, if you go to a concert or you were with your friends, you can have collage or if you and your friends. So it's really cool and it's really personalized to you. Very different to the hands in the past. But basically how it works is just through two muscles that you control in your arm. And these muscle sensors are placed here and here. So this one here is the open one. So if you were flex your muscles, it would brush on here. Whereas this one here is to close it. So if you were to squeeze your muscles, it would brush on that sensor and make it close like so. But basically there's four grip modes in total. If I flex, it'll open, and if I squeeze, it will close. This is the grasp. So I find this one best for holding the pen, if you're holding a toothbrush, or I don't know, something long like a fork maybe. Then if you flex, again, it'll turn green, you'll feel a vibration in the arm. That tells you that you've changed grip modes. So now this is just a normal close like that. You probably use that to hold a cup of tea or a ball or something like that, tennis ball. Then if you press the button, it'll turn purple and same thing again, squeeze the muscles. You can do a little pinch like that. That's great for holding the smaller objects. And then flex, change a grip mode and you can do a peace sign as well. And this is the tripod grip mode. Again, it's pretty great if you were to hold a fork or something, but I spend most time in the hand on these ones. I use the grasp the most, I think. One for posing, doing a thumbs up. But two, I'd like to do my makeup, so I'll do that there. And I find the best way, You'll when you get your hand, you'll understand that it does take a little bit of a practice and you'll have to find out your own ways on how you would pick up certain objects. I have a YouTube channel where I would, I show people how I would do it, but everyone has their own ways. So I like to hold things in those strings there, because I feel like that gets, the best grip of everything but you'll find that out when you get your own. Was it easy to get used to your arm when you first got it? Uh, I've been working with Open Bionics for about three years and so I only really got my own proper pair of the Hero Arms uh, I believe like last year maybe two years ago they were my first ones and they're a little bit smaller I got these ones in January but before then, I'm ambassador for the company, so I had like the NHS trials arms, all the prototypes that I would test out rather than them being actually mine and me owning them, but I did wear them and control them, if you know what I mean. But when I first met up with Open Bionix, we went in the lab, they put it on, we tense, we check the sensitivity levels, which is what I guess you'll probably do too. And that just looks at your muscles, how strong you are and how much they should, how sensitive they should make the hand. So it's easiest and most comfortable for you, but not being too sensitive. But then once we saw all that out, we went in the lab and where they had a bunch of different objects for me to try out and chuck around. And it didn't take me very long, like, 10 minutes later I was chucking things around and basically got it really really quick so it's really easy to learn and I think you'll get it pretty fast.